Hello, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppleNaps.com and we have a very special video walkthrough for you today. We're going to be testing Airplane Mirroring, the new feature coming in iOS 5. We got our iPad 2 with iOS 5, we got our Apple TV. The setup is done, so let's check it out. As you can see, we have our iPad 2 here, it has no cables in it whatsoever, and we got our Apple TV set up. To start mirroring, you just go to the multitasking bar, turn on AirPlay, and an option for mirroring comes on. And then, you have your iPad screen wirelessly transferred to your TV in real time. That's it. Everything you do now on your iPad will be on your TV via the Apple TV and AirPlay mirroring. Now our video is going to focus on the TV itself rather than including the iPad also in the view just so you can see how fast everything is rendered from the iPad 2 to the TV completely wirelessly. As you can see in the video we got photo booth with all nine views running up onto our TV and we showed that you can work in portrait mode as well. Now we're gonna go just from app to app, all kinds of apps that don't really have AirPlay built into them and just see how this mirroring feature works and now you don't need that $39 HDMI digital AV adapter from Apple. This is just gonna be completely wireless thanks to iOS 5 and AirPlay mirroring. We look at Safari, we look at Pulse News Reader, just really we're gonna go through every single app so hope you enjoy and are ready to see what AirPlay mirroring can really do for you. No longer is everything on your iPad limited to the iPad screen. You can look at maps, news, internet, Twitter, and of course games. We're going to have a big boatload of games because game gameplay is going to be the most data that's going to be transferred wirelessly and it's going to be the most chance that there will be stutter or delay going from your iPad 2 to your Apple TV wirelessly. What better way to start looking at games is then one of the most popular games, Angry Birds. So here we got the Rio version, and we'll just launch up a level and see if there's any kind of delay at all. Hopefully you can hear the audio as well, as all the game sounds, as well as the video is transferred wirelessly. So now we'll go into Fruit Ninja. And this is a game that if you're familiar with playing it on your iPad, you can look at the TV screen and swipe on your iPad. You can really be familiar with where the fruits are because there's only so much room on the iPad. You become relative and know where everything's going to be. It takes a while, but you can definitely play it without staring down at the iPad screen. You might not be as good as if you would, but you can play games like Angry Birds and Fruit Ninja up on the big screen with no effort really on your part. Flip one switch, you got Airplay Mary. So we're going to look at some more apps. We'll let you leave. look at this for a bit. Airplay Mirroring even allows you to check the sports report and watch little sports center videos on the TV just like you would sports center but all from within the great iPad app and you don't need to do anything special you can see the whole thing not just certain specific aspects like many airplay functionality and apps right now now some games require you to look at the iPad 2 screen to do well at them but tilt based games like tilt to live you can tilt and watch the entire game on the TV without really looking down at your iPad it's amazing. It really comes as close as possible to feeling like a console with the controller in your hand and all the gameplay on the TV. Airplay mirroring really lets you share any interesting app like on the way to Woodstock which is a great app and now you can share it with anyone who gets to see your TV rather than having to be crunched around an iPad so it's just revolutionary this is without a doubt the greatest feature in iOS 5 and to actually use it it's simply amazing so we'll just keep uh, reiterating this as we show you more and more what airplane mirroring can do All these apps are great, but the really interesting ones are the ones with TV out support already built in, which has been contingent upon having the special HDMI cable from Apple. Now, 
that works completely wirelessly. As you can see, we have Real Racing 2 HD and it's running in full 1080p completely wirelessly from your iPad 2 up to your big screen TV. As you can see, the iPad 2 has no wires in it at all and all the video of the game is up on the TV and you just use the iPad 2 as the controller. This is the same as if you were using the wired TV out support, but now it's completely wirelessly. All the video is thrown up to the TV in full HD and you just use the iPad as the controller with gas, brake, and tilt to steer. Now this is the closest thing to a console game the iPad 2 has even come close to as you have a controller and you got full HD on the TV and it's all done wirelessly. And there's no effort or setup at all. You just open the app and it starts working just like this. The best aspect is, even with all this highly rendered graphics, it runs effortlessly with no stutter or slowdowns at all. And it really looks amazing. And it's, by on to doubt, the best feature iOS 5 or anything that Apple has even come up with yet. It's simply amazing. The most amazing part is this is a beta. And the full version isn't even coming out for three months. And Real Racing 2 hasn't been optimized for this technology at all. It's great to see an iPad 2 game take up the entire TV at full display rather than the letterbox that has been with other apps because this is actually natively built-in support. And there's other apps beyond Real Racing 2 HD. There's War Pinball, which is also uses the TV out support with the HDMI cable. And you start up the game, it's letterbox, but then once you get into the actual pinball game, you can see it takes the entire screen. Now let's show you how it looks. You can tell it's completely responsive. You got the ball bouncing up in the top left. And now we'll show you with the iPad 2 as the controller in the foreground. This is another game where the iPad's the controller. You pull the plunger and you tap the left or right side of the screen for the flippers in the pinball game. With these full HD ones, there are some slowdowns from time to time, but there's going to be some optimizations done in the next three months, and everything will be perfectly silky smooth. When you think of a graphically intense iPad 2 game, you have to think of Infinity Blade. This game hasn't had full HD support, but still, it looks great running even Letterbox up on your TV. And there's so much action on screen, and it all runs great, with the various sword attacks and sword swipes and dodges. So let's just try to show you as much as we can with the iPad in the foreground, that TV in the background, and see how mirroring in real time the actions are. To really put AirPlay mirroring into perspective, let's run some more apps. Because AirPlay mirroring, it works with all iPad apps, 90,000 of them. Like here's RoboKill, for example. Any iPad app you have, it will work up on the big screen. Hopefully more developers tweak it for full HD TV out support, but even not, it's great playing any iPad game up on the big screen. RoboKill is so powerful it even has some slowdowns on the iPad 1. Another powerful graphically intense game is Death Rally, with a lot of explosions in action on screen. And both Death Rally and RoboKill rely on joysticks, virtual joysticks, which once you know where they are, this is another style of game that you can just play completely by looking up at the TV screen. And of course, who doesn't like seeing plants destroying zombies up on the big screen? Really, the possibilities are endless. You could even run iPhone apps in 2x mode up on the big screen. Anything on the iPad will be up on your big screen thanks to AirPlay mirroring. As a matter of fact, you can even look at the App Store up on the big screen to find the next app you'll be using up on the big screen. You can even read books on the big screen, which are especially good for color-based kids' books. On top of that, now all your photo albums are available to be viewed and shared on the TV as well. And now with PhotoStream coming with iCloud, you'll have the most recent thousand photos automatically available on your iPad and your Apple TV. And here's a little small showing of the new editing photos feature in iOS 5. But yeah, you got photos on the big screen of all the albums stored on your iPad. Speaking of photos, you can now view iPhoto on Mac on your TV thanks to Splash Top Remote Desktop and AirPlay Mirroring. There's no easy way to transfer your Mac desktop to your TV wirelessly 
And now the AirPlay mirroring splash top remote desktop app combination with the iPad 2 lets you do all of that. And you can even watch Hulu videos up on the big screen without Hulu Plus or anything like that. You can access your entire Mac desktop up on your TV. So that's a roundup of everything AirPlay mirroring can do with the iPad 2, Apple TV, and iOS 5. Fall with the official release can't come soon enough. We hope you enjoyed the AppleAndApps.com video walkthrough of AirPlay mirroring. Thank you.